All right, it's Montreal Monday, and I have to go to the courthouse, file a document. It's actually Friday, but we're gonna turn it into a Montreal Monday. There seems to be something. Gentlemen. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna turn it into a Montreal Monday courthouse, camera shop, and I'm gonna get some bubble tea in Chinatown because I really want some bubble tea. That's the hook. Yeah, here we come. Hey, here we come. Hey, here we come. Here we come. All right, so these are the outdoor parks that symbolize Montreal lifestyle. People during lunch hour come and they eat in these beautiful little parks that are like hidden in between all the buildings. It's quite beautiful actually. All right, well, the mics were too expensive. So instead I got my kid an action cam for 60 bucks. We are gonna have some fun with this in the coming days. Behind me are what we call the kaleshes, or the horse-drawn carriages, which have been a source of controversy in the city. Hold on, am I out of focus? Yeah, I'm out of focus. Um, they've been a source of controversy in the city that the city is outlawing them. I think as of a year or two, because people don't like it, they think it's cruel on the horses, and by all accounts it is. It's all pavement around here, so they're walking with horseshoes on pavement. One point, something happened where one of the horses got loose and nearly got hit by a car. The video went viral. Anyhow, kalesh. All right, that bland looking building with the uh, cement facade behind me is the Montreal Courthouse, the Superior Court. Now, courthouses vary from one to the other, but they are all generally, I like to say, sort of like a Vegas casino without the alcohol or the gambling. Just broken dreams and people moping around, very depressed like. Yeah, stay out of a courthouse if you can. And because it's Montreal, even the courthouse is under construction. Now, something I never knew and I learned the hard way, you're actually not allowed recording in the courthouse, except for in very specific locations where press are allowed. So I'm gonna shut down my camera, ugh, go through the security metal detectors and uh, see maybe if I can get a shot where press is allowed to record in the courthouse. Nothing, nothing visually impressive, so we'll be back. This is the spot where you're allowed to record for press. And this is the courthouse. What makes this so Las Vegas-y, but minus the alcohol and the gambling, is the fact that there are no windows here. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, so that's as much of the courthouse as we're gonna get to see. Which brings me to a question somebody asked in my last law vlog video about Serena Williams. I Noisy. It was actually a great question. They said, do you need to look up the history of a judge before pleading in front of a judge? And, and it's a great question. It's something I should have mentioned. More information never hurts. The more you know about a judge, the better off you're going to be pleading in front of that judge. It's something that not enough lawyers do. Once you are able to find out who your judge is going to be for a hearing, for a trial, look up judgments from that judge. Take a good example. If, for example, your judge is notoriously pro-employee and you're representing the employer in the case of wrongful dismissal, you'll know that you have your work cut out for you in terms of pleading in front of that judge who may have certain biases that you are gonna to have to argue around. The other thing, flattery will get you everywhere. Typically, a judge is going to love when you submit to him or her their own authority from previous decisions. It's a great tactic. How can a judge disagree with themselves? You submit a decision where they said something in the past that fits your situation. How are they going to deviate from that this time around? All right, this is the main corridor in Chinatown. I'm going to get some bubble tea. I've been thinking about it all day. Nice, nice bubble tea. Okay, I'm going totally crazy and I'm gonna try a bubble tea place that I've never tried before. I'm scared. How's it going? What's taro? Can I get a large mango bubble tea? Oh, do you, do you take visa? <gasps> Okay, I don't have any cash. Sorry about that. <laughs> this place takes visa. I don't carry on cash so that I don't spend too much money. How's it going? Lemon? Do you have lemon, lemon bubble tea? With the, the tapioca balls? Yes, please. Okay, see 
how this tastes. Busker behind me, I did a video of him a while back where he was playing Creep by Radiohead, and it was the best version ever. I'll link it right now. Yeah, but just right, I think we just, think we just played it a time. You have no way of tipping buskers. Which leads me to contemplate a solution. Okay, I just went to a bank that was not my bank, paid an extra $3 to take out 20. That's how good this guy is. I hope he stays there. You, you mind if uh, you're in a video? Okay. Yeah, but actually I, I just had the fucking worst experience now. Why, what happened? Someone stole all my money, it was $70 now. I put here, I got the, like a bill, yep. and then I put some coins. Uh, and they took the bill? Yeah, they took and then just running. Well, I'll take a CD, but you got, you got, that's terrible. You're amazing, by the way. What's, what's, what's your name? Uh, my name is Joji. Joji? Oh yeah, and incidentally, to follow up on the researching your judge, also research opposing counsel, because it's good to know what types of judgments have been rendered where they were the attorneys of record. It's also good to know if they've been sanctioned or smacked down, or like, if a lawyer has gotten a smack down by a previous judge and then tries to do the same thing in front of a new judge, and you bring up that decision, or you bring up that judgment. Yeah, where, where am I going? This is not where I want to go at all. It's good not only to know the judge, but to know opposing counsel. More knowledge never hurts. Very quickly before I go, what's, what's your name? My name is Steve Pettipa. I'm a resident Steve of Montreal. Steve Pettipa? Pettipa. P-E-T-I-T, Petit, and P-A-S. Oh, Petipa. Little step. Okay. Petipa. I'm from Montreal as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. Amazing. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good day. Amazing. Um, and that seems like a good time to end this uh, Montreal Monday. Is or is not Oasis the greatest band of all time? They are. Oh, yeah, sorry, one last thing before we go. This statue, I've never understood the statue. Now I'm gonna have to read up on it to see what it actually stands for, but there's a cute dog, the guy's arms. I hear you guys say you're from Ireland. Mm -hmm. And you said from Cork? Yeah. I was in Cork 12 years ago. Oh. Um, do you mind being in a vlog? Uh, <laughs> no, you know, it's fine. You live yeah. here or just travel? We're all studying here. Yeah. Oh, at yeah. McGill? Uh, Concordia. Concordia in, in Udan. Udan? Yeah. So you're learning French? No, my course is in English. Very cool. What's the, what do you study? Uh, I'm doing business law. But also business law? Thing, I'm a lawyer. Okay, no, I, I'm a lawyer by trade as well. Every <laughs> Thursday I put up a video called Law Vlog Thursdays. <laughs> okay, awesome. We'll subscribe anyhow. <laughs> All right, have fun guys. The same. Three more subscribers. Yes, at this rate, three subscribers a day. Uh, to get to a million, it will be uh, 300,000 days. I'll be dead. I've got good news and bad news. Which one do you want first? Bad news. The bad news is you're never using my GoPro again. Oh, come on! Oh.
the good news, I got you this thingy here. You have to share it with your sister, however. Your first video with that for your channel is going to be a tech review of that action camera. What do you camera. mean I have to share it with Lila? This video's over. No, really. You have to share. What does that mean? 50% of the time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, it's yours. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, it's Lila's. Why is Lila going to do this? It's a joke. You just, you have to share.